Hi, this video is about a couple of very nice accessories. Uh, one is the Garmin Zero C1 Pro chronograph that everybody seems to like, and I'm glad I got it. And uh, the ScopeMate uh, camera. It's the uh, Night Vision S18, NVS18. Uh, it has a big screen, it comes with this carry case. And in summary, you're going to see some clips on how it's mounted and uh, actual shots taken and the night vision sample. Um, the night vision sample is not rotated correctly. In the software, there is a way to correct the orientation, how you're going to mount it. But I didn't bother, so the night vision shots are shown sideways if you can excuse that. Now I want to show you on the phone here, um, the Garmin um, has software where you can uh, review the results. And then this chronograph is not like some that actually talk to you and announce the shot value. Um, you don't really need that because the chronograph is not 10 or 15 feet away on some tripod. It's right next to you on the bench, just off the end of your gun somewhere. And so you can see the shot value for each shot as you're taking them. And when you end a session, the Garmin remembers those, and then you can connect with Bluetooth to your uh, phone and grab the data. Now I'm showing you on the phone here, this session here, See how it shows 910.2, and you can edit shots. And there's the shots I took. Now here, this shot was a bad shot because it was double pellets by mistake here. So I can say th this one here. I can say I had it as exclude shot since it was a bad reading. But watch the numbers up here, the summary. If you don't exclude the shot, uh, the show in the spread is 309. But if you exclude the shot, here the spread is only 15.4. So um, there's there's a waste when you when you're in the app. If you update the shots and throw out the bad ones, these values will auto calculate. I think a flaw that they could improve the uh, software with on, on the export, when you say export, export a CSV, it does not take in these updated values. It, it, it includes all shots, and, the, and, and the, it will not recalculate to show the correct uh, average feet per second when you throw out the bad shots. So I think that's something they could uh, improve on. So I hope you like this. I'm, I'm not a pro at this stuff. I'm just trying to show you these are two great items I'm very glad that I purchased. Today's targets are down there. At 50 yards, there's some paper targets and a couple metal swingers. Okay, so today we're going to be shooting the JSB match. Heavy Davilo pellets, 18.13 grains. The very nice pellet. And we're going to be shooting with this uh, 5x30 by 56 FFP ED zero stop scope from Marcool. It's a scope you rarely find in the United States. But it's pretty nice for the money. I wanted a higher power scope than the standard 25, and I didn't want to pay $3,000 for it for an air gun scope. And uh, I wanted something different than the uh, Japanese one that most people use, just to be different. So let's show you how that works here. Uh, we're going to put on a scope camera today. Okay, here, so here's the ScopeMate NVS18 
scope camera and I'm going to put it on this Marcool scope, 5x30 scope, and just show you how that's done. Basically, the thing fits on the back of the scope up to where you see that indentation, and this adapter ring helps fit this scope tightly to this back end. Now, when we look at this scope mate, this is a infrared illuminator for night vision, and it's adjustable. And this knob here on the side is for when you adjust the focus of your crosshairs or your scope. And the, the display can be turned on or off. It has a uh, sleep timer, so it will go off after a while if you don't use it. Um, you look through that hole, because that's looking th right through the scope. So it, it clamps on up to that point inside there. And then you lose this much of your eye relief, because this is adding this much material onto the back of the thing. So uh, you have to be careful when you're shooting a high recoil gun to not hit yourself. And in some in some cases it might be better to use the screen to shoot. And that's what you would do with the night vision aspect of the scope. So to mount the scope camera I take off my scope and then I mount this spacer on there. That. And then this goes on here. Like that. And it's very snug. And if you want, you can tighten these screws down here to really make it hold. So that's that. And, uh, then you can uh, hit this power button and it turns on and then you can hit this and that will turn off The ScopeMate camera has a lot of screen options and up or down you can choose the menu item that you're looking at and say OK if you want to change the parameters of that particular men menu item. It includes a screensaver and it includes a video, re video resolution and whatnot. Okay, so here's the target from today. You can see there's my thumb in relation to that. Some groups there. I shot a bunch there. And then we may come over here. This is the size of my hand compared to that target. That's a 50 yards. 50 yards, bunch of shots. You can hear the breeze. So it's not too bad a day.